We're back. Hello. It's been a bit, but I fucking opened the last recording in a separate window and recreated the steps that we had taken. I'm so up until sorry. The moment where the game froze. That. That's unfortunate. Although we're not exactly where we left off, because I had to jump down here and save. So I, I, I was wandering around recreating it, and I did notice it's just like. There's a lot to do in these buildings. There's just stuff around. So I was gonna we'll... say, I don't even recognize those. We haven't been in here yet, right? Yeah, we were up top. Oh, we're always up top. We were up top we're always on Shinji either... Hunting. We were, you know, yeah, yeah. We, we came here because I saw Shinji on the horizon, and it was like the only remaining blue spot. I'm like, oh, Shinji! Uh, and she's like, it's it's basic. It's This is basic criminal, uh, whatever the fuck. <laughs> love, love dies. Get it together. Love dies? <laughs> It's like basic criminology love, love dies. People are bored, so they're gonna murder. Like they I mean, that conversation. We were either there or there, and we pressed something, and I think <laughs> this came out of the ground. Sounds like it sounds about right. Blood crystal. Oh no, you ruined our 69. We'll have 69 blood oh, crystals anymore. Damn. Damn. The gold plate cries out for light. Uh do you have to go look at it during the daytime? I don't know. I think, I, think that, I think this just came out of the ground when I put a thing in a thing. Like a, one of those gears we always do with the stuff. <laughs> Keith's very articulate. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, th I thought I saw a Shinji, but it's just our friend. <laughs> Ew, we don't... I mean, they're not really our friend. But they're similar. Dude, everyone here dyed hates clothes. us. I mean, everyone here might be a murderer, which pretty much def by default means they're not going to love... The person to who's, us, yeah. <laughs> as we question whether or not they did a moiter. Either they're a murderer or they are a person we are questioning about a murder. In not which case, lie. they are very offended that we're asking them anything. With how dramatically that was revealed, I kind of thought there'd be something to do there. But it's just a weird statue. I, I think you have to wait for the blood crystals. Maybe the daytime. I, maybe. Because the, the plate is crying out for the light. Way, way, like a baby. <laughs> way. Who needs to look at. Dr oh. I love the ghosts. Hello. This ghost is like dancing. <clears throat> yeah, they're definitely stock photo people. They started here, dragged through the building towards the ocean. But then where? Who started here? Did they go to the sewers? No, that doesn't make sense. Maybe straight into the ocean. But why? That's weird. What are you <laughs> talking about? That's weird. That's weird. They must have left some clue. Investigator is here. A clue to what? Huh? Oh, I didn't see you. Step aside, please. I'm trying to find my neighbor. Maybe I can help. I am an investigator. Yes, yes, maybe. But if they were dragged to the beach, where did they go from there? Somewhere out of sight. Undercover, maybe. Maybe I should try and help them look for whatever it is. Whatever it is might be somewhere covered on the beach. Don't test me. I found this under the pier. We already have. Oh, we already have the thing. Oh. I remember that severed arm. Hmm. What? Wait. Is that? It is. Finally, I have proof that my neighbor was murdered. Yay! <laughs> the God Justice Marshals weren't interested in helping me. They said it was an accident, but I knew it was murder. I guess I'll never know who did it. I suppose it doesn't really matter now, does it? <laughs> what? It's not justice, but at least I have some peace now. Do you? <laughs> Please take these. Do not let citizen murders go uninvestigated. Do we? They do not give a shit about citizens. No. Obviously. That's like the second or third time we've solved a uh, solved a case before we learned it existed. She's very passive about like, oh, we don't know who did it, but like, thanks for bringing oh, well. me back their arm. Yep, you sure found a murder. Anyway, the I can move on now. <laughs> Meanwhile, all the other every other citizen I think has been sacrificed. So like, every I mean everyone was technically murdered. It's yeah. just someone murdered by the government. They were just I don't even know if they were into it. <laughs> it was a consensual murder. I don't get or, the impression it was. A lot of them were kids. I don't know if yeah. kids can't consent by law. <laughs> if efficacious chili is obtained, the best the sh your shortcut to murdering Stephanie. <laughs> Looks like someone was growing chilies up here. I mean, those would kill me. This mayonnaise is too hot. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a little. The bitch. yellow goat brings light. Ah, shine a light on oh, it. Oh, oh yes, we need the yellow goat to shine the light on the. Pump. Yeah, I think I did it over there already. Looks like there's two though. 
Need to find yellow goat numero dos. Would you be mad if I painted uh, your door that color? Yellow? No, or the pink. pink. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not the one who owns the door, so I'm not the one you got to worry about. I know, but would but if, if I got permission and I didn't have issues with that, My how would you feel about a door that pink. color? Yeah, but that's, that's a special kind of pink. <laughs> oh, the specific, like, very saturated neon sort of color. I feel like, uh... I don't know, I think colors kind of add... It's kind of like... It just kind of adds more to the experience of otherwise just like a beige, boring house. I do, I do like... one of the. It was like one of the first things I knew about you, because you, you moved in. But you were okay with with having the pink room because this, yeah. this room used to belong to a, a, a like a young girl who lived here before. Uh, I did like, I did question uh, repainting it, but the um, it, would, it would have taken time, and I'd completely <laughs> miscalculated how long it was like because my mom, who was coordinating some of the stuff. Uh, has a fucked up relationship with the with the with the, with the uh, use of the phrase next, as far as like next Wednesday and stuff like oh, that. Oh, oh, you mean yeah? Because I remember this because it, yeah, it's, so that, there was a panic. <laughs> she means she's like, when she like, says oh, yeah, we're, next, we're, she we're means the upcoming. One. She means the yeah the the but next one to everyone the else most, in the, the world. The most immediate one. It means like the following one. Yeah, because the implication is if you're saying Wednesday, then it's you're not talking about the next Wednesday. Wednesday. It's so next if you say Wednesday. next Wednesday, you mean next week's Wednesday. Exactly. Yeah, she doesn't do that. <laughs> she, yeah, she Which means, she means a, like literally the next one that happens. Wow, oh god, if I move, it comes out in the direction I move in. <laughs> you gotta you gotta aim better because crying uh, grudge carving. Our, our friend drinks that. Remember? Yeah. A carving that she, she drinks our blood. How romantic. Good. A carving that tells of the god crying grudge. Nearly killed by the Persian army at the Battle of Beyond Revenge, body was paraded across the country and displayed above the palace in Shushatra Zero. The tears of the god fertilized the ground and the city became a sea of lilies. Syndicate members stole the god back and burned the city to the ground. The god has been moved from island to island ever since, guarded in a but in a pyramid. I love the name, the Battle of Beyond Revenge. That's yeah. like revengeance. It's like Hello. it's like <laughs> sneaky. Oh yay! A new music. Yep. A dance under the gaze of demons. You can feel their eyes bulging from the concrete. Let them watch. Let them lust. The Lemejton Bop. That's really not the name of something I would think of with that. I don't even know what that word means. I don't either. I don't even know how to pronounce it, actually. I just first drafted that shit and moved on with my life. No, but I was just, I was impressed that you're okay with the pink room. That's all I was gonna say, because like, I, I thought like... Yeah, I wanted, you know, to, I wanted to be purple. Did, was your mom gonna help you paint it? Uh, well, it's just that the... Uh, oh, oh you, you had to move in really fast. I thought there was a very different timetable for moving in. And it, I didn't want to... I didn't want to live in a paint fumes room. <laughs> Understandable. So I wanted to like paint the room one week and then move in the, like a week or two later. But the whatever the, I don't remember what, what day of the week it was or whatever. But I was like, oh well, I've got such a breezy amount of time to pack. Like I was already I had already gone to like stables and got a bunch of and bought a, like a pallet of like cardboard boxes to assemble and tape together and had like the, the, the taper and everything. And I was just gonna slowly just pack up a couple boxes a day and so on. And I found out like, oh yeah, we're moving in like two days. I'm like, what? <laughs> Thought I had over a week still, and so it was just we just kind of went with this is how it is now. But no, it's uh, I mean, almost any color is better than just living in another white room. I feel that way too, but a lot of people don't don't agree with that. A lot of people are yeah. very boring with their choices. You've seen my room. I live like a crazy person. I have like yeah. art everywhere. Yeah. The fact that my walls are gray just really suit the fact that I have color in everything else in my room, like different patterns and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm a, a maximal maxim maximal. Speaking of my room, parallel Not a red. And maximalist. <laughs> this is the drink that is my room, parallel red. Pink kind of it just is parallel red. <laughs> well, two of my walls are red and two of them are pink. No, dude, it's like that's just, pink still. Which that's, that's a detail that took time to just even sink in. No, it's like it's like a reddish pink. One of them's like Pepto Bismol pink, and the other one's like it's a deep. I, I got blood dark, in the Pepto Bismol pink. It's a deeper, darker pink. color. 
It's hard to calibrate what color Bloody it is Pepto. in the context of this room. A blend of different fruits and vegetables full of vitamins and minerals, often junk morning after the night before. Will the game freeze again when I get a phone call right now? Hey, it didn't freeze this time. Okay, good. <laughs> so I got scared for a second yeah. there. Dead Nebula thanks you for your continued patronage. You've tried a lot of the refreshing beverages we make. You are the most valued customer. You Do you have everyone. a favorite? Uh, be, don't be mean to him, be genuine, because he seems like a nice guy. Uh, that's great. Good answer. You must be a hit at parties. Okay, asshole. Maybe Never mind nice. that. Remember the to upgrade for remember that upgrade to, for Starlight we mentioned? We've come through for you. Hang on a second. The vending machine has been soft rebooted. You should be able to get the upgrade thing out of it now. Don't forget, it's in the warehouses. Do you remember that? No. Uh, I remember him mentioning it, and I pointed out the broken machine, and we're like, how do we get the upgrade out of there? Cause oh, it's going to be in the broken one. Oh, that broken one. Yeah, so you got to go back to that place. Yeah. Uh, I, she's asking the exact question I I was thinking of when they mentioned this in the first place. Yeah. Why is Hardware like that jammed in a vending machine? The dead nebulous security chief is a real moron. <laughs> Obviously. He's been showing, uh, showing off just before the slaughter ritual. He thinks exposing OS loopholes is a great way to impress people. Why? Well, he was about to die, so... Yeah. Why did he have a Starlight upgrade? He did a favor for someone he shouldn't have in the Syndicate. They promised him a piece of Syndicate tech in return. You just open with all this information. Well, he's dead, so... What he got was an unusual upgrade for, uh, for use on a device you'd never see. Like we said, moron. How? <laughs> How did it end up in a vending machine? Marshalls came knocking. He tried to hide it. It's jammed in the dispensing mechanism. Should come out if you try making a purchase now that it's been rebooted. Works for me. Appreciate it. Go get him, Lady Love Dies. If the culprit lets out a confession in the in range of our microphones, we'll let you know. Thanks, buddies. You guys are nice. I yeah, like thanks that. for obstructing my investigation until I bait gave you enough money. Yeah, uh, that punk actually is kind of, you know, you put it that way. That is kind of punk sketchy. ass. Yeah, punk ass. Also, you're uh, we're your most valued customer, so no one else is buying drinks because we're only there's only one available per hello, per machine. He, he said he said you're a a very valued customer. Oh. He didn't say the most, which how do you I know, crouch again? There you go. That's how you butter up people without offending anyone else. You're like oh, you're you are very valuable, not <laughs> the best, but pretty dang good. <laughs> I, I don't know how to I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I'll just have to go back up and then keep an eye out for that floor. There is a heart. I kind of like these uh these apartment complexes. Yeah. With the big open space with like the plants at the bottom. It is very pleasant. A lot of like I said, a lot of the aesthetics of this game is they're very like I would be very interested in seeing some of these places in real life. Inquisitive apartment murder report obtained. A newspaper with an article about a string of dismemberments within the apartments. They often happen during the height of summer. People living in cramped conditions give in to dark desires. Well, now I definitely want to live in those apartments. Definitely. <laughs> I'm. It, it was me. I'm the dismemberer. Well, honestly, if everyone's about to go to the slaughter ritual, who's going to investigate? Apparently, no one cares about citizens. So if yeah. you want to like go on a string of murders because everyone's going to get slaughtered anyway, you might as well do it here. It makes you wonder what the rules are. Yeah, like, do you even get punished for that? If like, if you're going to be killed anyway, they're going to put you on trial. It's like, oh, you have two days until the slaughter ritual. Like, what are they going to do? Uh, I guess they can do the torture stuff they do with the other guy, Henry this, Division. It only works if you like believe in like an afterlife or something, because then it's like, oh, I'll get yeah. punished later. But if you don't believe in that, then you're free. Because you're I figure the hook. they're probably incentivized to punish you even more than you. Sh Hello. There's a thing. Probably incentivize you to punish even more because it's not just a normal murder. It's a mortar of, like, sacred flesh that for the rituals or whatever. Oh, like they're wasting it? Yellow crest. You're, you're spilling blood meant for God. Uh, the, you how know what? That you? is kind of, yeah. Which is also how they rationalize owning your body in a lot of religions. Well, it's like, that's not your body. That's God's body. I don't know if God wants and mine anymore. he's here to collect. I put a bunch of holes in it. <laughs> put some pictures on it. I drew on it a ah. little bit. So first I unleash that one, then I unleash that one. So there's two separate Oh, you need another yellow one? Well, I already, we did the other one last episode, and then I collected it at the beginning of this episode. Because I... The recording died. It happens. I think I remember there being a Shinji over here when I was wandering. A bit. 
Just gonna carefully check each floor. Yeah, we did this one. And I think, actually... Let's see. And I want to keep an eye out for any surprises. Because, yeah, there's just, like, collectibles randomly on all the different floors, and there's so many floors. And they made, like, they, like this building looks like the last one you're in, so it's, like, hard to keep track of. Yeah. See, this is, like, the kind of stuff, like, you're much I saw a little blue down there, and I thought it was a Shinji. I'm not good at being meticulous. It's like it's like a shortcoming of mine. Meticulous is a nice way to say obsessive. No, honestly, it's like this see, is like, the this is the computer. This is the one that broke us last time. Uh oh. No, the call already happened. Okay. It was the call. That oh yeah 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 it. yeah yeah. But that means we've already read this one. It's the aesthetic water. Aesthetic water. I loved that. From right. last it's time. It's definitely Fiji. Like I said, definitely Fiji. Are oh, have you ever? Beds? Dude, one time I On went the to the roof. Are they, went, are they growing moss or some shit? There's fish in there. Oh, there are fish in there. I didn't even register that. I, I, I've been to one of those Neat. places where those fish will eat the skin off your feet. Um? You ever heard of those? Oh, like, not bad way. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, yeah, in, in a purposeful Like exfoliating fish, way. not like piranhas. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I went to a place in Mexico, and like, uh, they They'll will... strip you right down to the bone. Honestly, it, it really tickled. Sorry. I had to try You've really... You've heard of the cat cafe, but have you heard of the piranha cafe? You never know, because there's no survivors. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever. We have whatever the opposite sale. of word of mouth is a haunting. <laughs> no Yelp reviews. We have rumors of haunting. <laughs> no, it, it tickled a lot, and I had to try not to kick the fish because I was really concerned about their livelihood. I didn't want to hurt them. Mm -hmm. And so I had to like sit there and like try not to like move my feet. And it felt very nice, actually, that they really liked. They really got a kick out of eating my feet. <laughs> It was very enjoyable. <laughs> they really got a kick out of eating. I do. Feet. I do question like, well, if their lives are good. I was kind yeah. of concerned about this, but. I mean, have you seen those like sanitary nightmares that are like, a, a restaurant that's full of like ankle high water with fish swimming around in it? See, like, like, like I. Those are horrifying. Yeah, I mean, I like I I care. I know I know like every every place is different about like their concern for animal welfare, but I yeah. do get very concerned when I travel and I see like animals in different situations. I'm like, ah, oh, is that okay? Like, I don't know if that's like ethical. But yeah, I know at a restaurant that seems like frivolous. I haven't checked on it for a while, but have, did you see how how big the koi in the back of the yard is now? Yes. Like I kind of yes. just forgot about it for a few months, and I glanced out there and I'm like. Oh my god, it goes. We have a yeah, we have a fish pond in the backyard that I helped dig. But I was like, I'm very proud of that. Like I helped dig that pond. I helped hold some boards in place at one point so things so that supports could be hammered in, and that was about it. And then the, the person who who did who planned this didn't look at the, the the planning for our backyard at all. So we almost hit a, a water pipe because <sighs> there was no like we didn't look at the at the blueprints for the house. Before yeah. doing this, which was a bad idea, this I didn't, I didn't realize like, that. I just helped dig the this hole. This sounds like some like fucking like bougie high end like landscaping stuff. No, we just did no. it ourselves. No, well, yeah, like we're mostly he did it himself, and like, like it's just his hobby, as he just likes to do these. Yeah, things. Yeah, we just we just have like rudimentary knowledge on fish keeping and things. But we have a big ass koi back there. I have no knowledge, and also don't help really. It's something I I, I, I just I'm, observe changes around me every now and then. I have a family of shrimp now. And they're doing very yeah. well, in case y'all were wondering. <laughs> <laughs> this one's named Fred. I call That them, one's called Other Fred. I call them the Cheeseburger Family, because they're all <laughs> orange. And I named them after that Jack Stopper song. But, nope, they're Joyous doing great. Joyous fish food. <laughs> yeah. You, is that what you buy? Even though it says complete fish food there? Yeah, my, my shrimp it's, love the, the... The Cheeseburger Family loves complete fish food. The title and the label say different things. One of the syndicate's social experiments was to create different social spaces around the apartments. There was decreased violence in this apartment. Feeding animals makes people happier. Dude, you can't trust a whole apartment complex to feed the same fish. They're going to overfeed it. Yeah. Every person's going to going to come up and feed the same fish, and they're yeah. going to kill them all. They don't, I don't think they care about that. You ever let a child feed These fish? These fish are here to serve Jeez. people, not live well. No, that's not good. Gleaming Ooh, male idol card gleaming. obtained. He has no face, just look at his abs. Yeah, a collectible card of an amateur pornographic actor. That's amateur. not usually what they mean by idol. Underground pornography often springs up in the apartment blocks. Underground pornography? <laughs> well, they're, they're just very bored. So he's specifically from this apartment? <laughs> Dude, everyone here is very attractive. You've seen everybody so far. They all must yeah. just be hot people. You'd almost think they'd just be bored of it at some point. Well, they're, that's why they're doing porn, because they're bored. that's just the base level. No, I mean, like, if that's just, like, the base level that everyone looks like. 
Like they don't they don't even register it as being attractive yeah. or not anymore. It's like get me a bear. <laughs> yeah, they want to so, do something different. I'm so sick of all these twink idols. <laughs> Every now and then I get a comment that that's like, like I will spit out my coffee when you said the thing, and I'm like, I said that? Because like, stuff just comes out constantly, and I, and I immediately forget. So I guess I was playing Skyward Sword, and there, I was trying to get to a chest on one of those floating islands, and uh, I, uh, it's like, it's like, it's one of those, those annoying gags you always see in cartoons and whatnot. It's not really a gag, it's just like a thing you see in video games and cartoons where like the the bars are too far apart, and he can totally fit. Oh, yeah. And it's like, oh, no, what am I going to do? I'm in jail, like in a Sonic the Hedgehog game or some shit. And I'm like, Link, your twink ass could fit through there. <laughs> and I don't remember <laughs> saying it at all. He twink ass. Dude, Link is so pretty. Yeah. Like, oh, man. Whenever... He was, he recently voted the... Uh, it's Lara Croft and, and, and Link were voted the most attractive video game characters in the world. According to a headline that I did not the, click the, on for any new, additional the context. The new Lara Croft, because she's like all like, obviously not the polygonal. I don't one, know right? if they meant the new one or the old one. Well, there's there's old ones that are still that are still there's, there's newer than that that are still the old one, because she did go through a redesign in 2013. Yeah, I think that's what I'm thinking. And of. So she's pretty different looking now, but the uh, up through like Tomb Raider Legends and stuff like that, like in 2008 and 10. Uh, they were still doing like higher and higher resolution uh, adaptations of the original like polygonal one. The one that looks like Angelina Jolie, because like that was that was more or less when like, they like, cast Angelina Jolie to be her. And it, and it, it was, was like it was yeah, that's about perfect. right. Yeah, honestly, it was too perfect. I was like yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Whereas the new one would not be cast as Angelina Jolie. It no, would, no, you, she, looks she looks more like a girl different. next door. She looks more like a. I, I get what she's like. She's also very attractive. Like I think she's also kind of already. Way. I think she's already been in a movie too, so she's already been played by an actress too. But like back then was a period when video game movies were a thing. That was like kind of a like wow. There's gonna be a Tomb Raider movie. There's gonna be a Mario movie. Now just now just Tomb, now there's just like a, another shitty video game movie like every six there's months. There's no excitement for it because we know it's gonna be bad. It's like you know another Street Fighter. Dude, the Street Fighter movies are so bad. Yeah, they get they each get worse. Yeah, like no, the they're Chun Li pretty. one. Oh yeah. But I just think about like uh. What I is love Chun Li. Chun Li, I love you. Uh, one of my favorite girls in all of the video games. Like I blinked at some point and found out, like, oh yeah, there's already a second uh, Agent Forty Seven Hitman at a, uh, movie. Like I think there's two different ones, which is just confusing. I see a thing, and I have no idea how to ever get there. <laughs> I, uh... I see it on the horizon. Okay. Oh, yeah, here's a second building. It's like I thought I had more to explore, more Shinji's on the horizon to track down. Otherwise, we're really going to have to pick a new target. Dude, like but a, I don't like, love anyone more. Well, you know what? Well, I mean, like, we have to decide what, what character to talk to next. I thought you were talking about who to fall in love kinda, with. We kind of make our own adventure throughout Crimson. this. Crimson. Crimson's a I was going to say, one. you have multiple candidates besides Shinji. In fact, you have multiple candidates you place higher than Shinji. Yeah, yeah. Don't play with his but emotions But Shinji talks like to us the most. He's like, give us, yeah. he gives well, us the, the best character. attention. And so I appreciate that. And his design's incredible. Like, what? I don't know what the fuck, how you land on that. Like, what is he? Crimson doesn't have time for me. She's out of my league, man. Polygonal fox nightmare creature. Water obtained. It's just water. Water. Plain water. Stay hydrated. Take a nice big gulp of cold water. Enjoy a few minutes of doing nothing but drinking water. Once an hour. What's wrong with you people? Just drink water. <laughs> I don't drink enough water at all. I drink much water. What is up? Oh, is that the way to? Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that the way to your your girlfriend? My girlfriend. Oh, that's what my, my goal should be. I need to go to warehouse. Yeah, 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 free. yeah. Forgot already. In addition to looking for any secret Shinjis that might be around. So we just did that apartment complex, but there's also this apartment complex. Do I already have this? Yeah, upgrade? I was gonna say check that. Oh, you did. Okay, just so make sure. That's important. There's a lot of similar stuff like foot baths and. Uh, other stuff, uh, vending machines where it's easy to forget which ones you've used before. It's funny how many things that like I wasn't even doing before COVID nineteen became a thing that I now wish I could do. It's like it's like I want to go get a massage. It's like bitch, you weren't getting <laughs> a massage before COVID nineteen. Why do you want to all of a sudden? Because you can't. Yeah. Because you can't do it. I want to go to a foot bath. I, I want to like, go run every morning. <laughs> 
I definitely don't want to do that. And I, I'm like, I what am I? Running. I'm like, what happened to me? <laughs> I used to be, I, I so I, I gained weight at some point, probably World of Warcraft or just aging or both Everyone at the same does. time. But I used to run for fucking ever back when I had, had like youth. <laughs> you, like, you're still young. Yeah, you're but it, but the, back when I was just skinny for free, I could just run forever. Like back, like I, because for a long time I, I just had ribs showing. It was the thing. It's metabolism. Yeah, and it was nice because I was so light, so I could just run forever, and I could play DDR for a really long time, and like a, just like a couple of years of not playing it. Later, I like, I think I like I tried it at the arcade once, and then I like I had to like. I'm like I'm gonna I'm gonna throw up <laughs> because it was like it was just way more than I than I was ready for because you put on weight and it's a huge pain in the ass. There's like nothing here. I I never like liked feet running. I rather do like other exercises. I feel like running isn't even really good for you. Like as a human being, like we're not meant. We, yeah. we like aren't we're like built very badly. It's just one of the exercise it's things you can just knees. do though. Yeah, I mean, even even like speed walking is like better on your joints. I'm like, yeah. I'm worried about like busting a knee out trying to run. I also, I got feet that point really far away from each other. Like, I, just I, I walk like a duck. I, I just only speed walk anywhere. Like so, a weirdo. I'm like not I'm a, in a good hurry. Runner. But the uh, it's just something you can do on your own because the other like it's supposed to be like really efficient to like lift weights for exercise purposes. Not not even just for like getting larger, but just like. Just ex like calorie wise, you just like it's supposed to be really efficient to learn to lift weights. But you either need to own them or you just be like, let's go to a gym. And like a lot of people hate that idea. Yeah, I don't like that idea. I either. hate the idea of gyms and like. Shiji. Where? Oh, yeah, you're so good at finding him. I see him now. But like, you're like really good at finding him. Get no, yeah. I, I used to just watch YouTube videos of people doing their like crunches and stuff, and I'd rather do that. I hate being observed. We had to do it at home. Is this the work of a god? This is no damned harmony. This is a human through and through. I can smell it. Are you sure? There's something rotten in the mix, but gods have bigger interests than you people. <laughs> That's, you know, I was, Damn. you know, probably. Gods have bigger interests than you people. <laughs> oh, Shinji. Wait, that's not Shinji. That's, that's fire. Oh, it's not deep enough here to kill me. I mean, I'm, I'm like, I'm, uh, a, I'm a filthy atheist, uh, but I always nope. think it's funny when people like, like, please, God, let me find the remote go. to the TV. And I'm like, dude, like, that's the sort of <laughs> thing to like, I don't think he cares about that. Like, <laughs> no, God, no, yeah, no, uh, that part in the office always makes me laugh. Just let me get back where I was going, because I just saw a bunch of stuff around here. Yeah, here we are. Wasting water. Oh uh, yeah, apocalypse, general chaos. Gaudy blood pendant. Gaudy and blood is a hell of a juxtaposition. <laughs> a gemstone fused with the owner's blood, worn by the prideful with something to show. Dude, Look at all this blood I'm full of. I Fucking want a pendant flexing made of on my you. Own blood. You hit. You have that power. I told you, Angelina Jolie. It and, is and hard Billy to Bob stop Burton. people from getting blood pendants. <laughs> But you know, but I actually looked into it. If you get a blood pendant, it evaporates eventually. So it's like refill out it. of the inside. Oh yeah, because eventually it just dries up. You doesn't, can't you can't avoid it from drying up. You can't can't you just completely seal it in resin so that it does no escape? Well, I mean, it just it still will dry up eventually. Does it be, does it become like a little like terrarium where it has its own little <laughs> ecosystem? Blood of, like, dust like in a jar. <laughs> I guess so. Well, just like the door. <laughs> Create blood organisms. I actually looked into getting I've been here before. a that blood vial open. of my own blood just for fun, and then you know, I, I saw fun. that, and I, I was like, man, I don't have to refill it. I feel like that's <laughs> like it kind of ruins the like uh, the seemingly immortal aspect of having a like a vial full of your own blood. Incoherent abandoned diary. That sounds fun. Fleeting fragments of a citizen's memories of their par previous life must be hard adjusting to the island. Okay, I need to find the warehouses. Wait. So they have a, a person wrote that who was on the other island. They didn't get killed. Did they get re reincarnated? Oh. We said previous life. I don't know. I'm not sure how this works. I actually don't know where the. Do you have any idea where the? Uh. There's a beach keep there. Bouncing around. The opulent ziggurat. Not that. Syndicate graveyard. 
agri fields. Oh, uh, it might, it might, mm, KHX. it might be near. The, I think it's near you know, those fields. You're, oh, or uh, the factory. I feel like it's the fields because I remember. Remember we saw like those like pillars that had plants, and it was like this weird like tablet of plants. And I, feel I like remember it was the weird plants where we did a bunch of like. Uh, I did. I found all the like the, the cranks and operated like the water system. And I feel like it was near there. Which is why I'm, I want to say it's the plant area, not the gardens, but I don't, but I'm not positive. I don't know where I am. Wherever it was, it was on the coastline. Is that's why I think it was near where those cranks were. It was on the coastline because it was a dock. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 the, uh... Shit. Do I have a run button that I've forgotten about? I do. There we go. <laughs> I was about like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna air dash everywhere. But I'm like, is there actually a move fast button? I think there might be. I watched this whole video where this guy, uh, beats, like, the main plot of Skyrim without like walking or running uh, I was uh, yeah that was suggested to me um what was the Skyrim or was a f no it was Skyrim but, uh, he yeah. does fall out once too but he but the uh, male is just like a naked protagonist sitting in a chair if it's the one I'm thinking of he does great music in the videos he doesn't like talk during it he just has text and then the music is all like video game music it's very good but like he had to like like he just had to punch forward because every time you do a punch oh. you, you go forward slightly but then that he like the had to make a bunch shit. of vegetable soup, so he had a lot of stamina because you run out of stamina if you're doing that. <laughs> and then he like found ways to like have uh, if you, if you get like arrested, you get sent to a different town to go to jail. And so it's like a it's like a way to fast travel without fast traveling. <laughs> yeah, I got suggested Skyrim stuff a weird amount, even though I dislike the game and don't play it or look at any videos it. about it. I love Fallout. I love Skyrim. There was one that came up where there was like, it was like this this companion reacting to you being a werewolf, and it was just a bunch of vo like they're just running around, and every time they're just recording, so like every time a voice line comes up where they're reacting to it, they would like c compile it into a big mega video of all the times they react and all the voice lines they have that are like, uh, it's like, it's like how long does this last? You with the with the tall and the hairy, or the. Uh, I don't think he understands us anymore. Uh, I love listen, companions uh, in those games. Like, I don't I don't think... I, I get the feeling that, that your brain did not grow with the rest of you. <laughs> like, it's like Khajiit <laughs> that's saying all this stuff. It's yeah. like, you were... And then after, like, a, after a bunch of random dumb lines, it's like... You are taller than before. <laughs> like, yes, thank yeah, you. Yeah, no kidding. Dude, I would never pick... In that game... And honestly, in real, in real life, like... I think yeah. werewolf over vampire like any day of the week. Yeah, no, vampires are kind of lame. Like when when Twilight was a thing, not that I really cared. I had a fr I had friends that really cared. But like, I'd much rather I'd pick Taylor Lautner just because being a werewolf would be much cooler than being a vampire. Like Even werewolves if they're, were they're like, weird wolves though because they just turn into wolves. I, but that's what I'd want. They I want to turn into wolf. They're a wolf. I don't want to have to drink blood. Very big wolves. <laughs> I don't want to sparkle. They're in the like sun. eight foot tall wolves, but they're not werewolves. <laughs> Dude, I, I just want to be able to turn into an animal. Yeah. That's just fun. Power of goat. A soda with additives to give you an energy boost. You too can have the power of the holy goat. Do goats have a lot That's of power? Some false adverts. Well, in this universe. In this universe, yeah. They have meaning. That's a save point. This is the boarding point for boat trips, which go around the island. The sign says that the boat rides were shut down by Yuri Knight a few days ago. There's no reason given. I wonder why. Why would he shut them down early? Oh, that's, that's a fucking thing we didn't notice before. No, just wandering a bit. But no, I, I saw, I found this companion video, and all the comments are talking about his personality and stuff. And I'm like, oh wow, I've never heard of this character before. I look, I, I Google them. He's not in the game. Is it a mod? It's a fucking fan mod where they add an entire companion character with over seven thousand spoken voice dude, lines. No, I'm like, man. I'm like, holy people fuck. are crazy. You do mods. <laughs> I'm so impressed by the modding community, which is why it was such like nonsense when like Bethesda was trying to uh, make money off of people's mods. It's like you can make a mod, but like if you put it on the marketplace, they get yeah. a percentage of the profit. And I'm like, dude, that's bullshit. Like, because 
people put so much effort into these. Yeah. The the uh, Macho Man mod where every dragon is Macho Man Randy Savage. Or Thomas the Tank Engine. Is fantastic. Like, bless those people who put time, that much time, to do some stupid shit like that. Like, they are amazing. I was just so taken aback, because it's like, it's... Like, because, like, that one... The video of just that mod was making me, like, question whether I wanted to play Skyrim, actually. Because Dude, I was like, oh, but Skyrim's this, this a well-written game. Like, I don't like anything about the game. Fallout's better, because I like the aesthetic a lot more. I'm not really into, like, I just medieval got, stuff. I just got so bored wandering around a gray, Fantasy snowy stuff. place fighting the same handful of gray barbarians and gray wolves in a miserable place. See, I think Fallout has a better sense of humor, which is my, why I like it. My first, ga my first game they're both by, very funny. by Bethesda was Oblivion, and it's such a colorful, wondrous game that you want to explore and find things in. And then you, you get a fucking... Skyrim, and it's like, I'm so bored every second of this. Lost Pain Carving. A carving about the god Lost Pain. Escaped to the moon's dark side. Has been leeching power from the core of the moon. Worshipped by the moon cult, he will drain the moon dry to regain his power. Desires to scorch the earth clean in his revenge. But like, the, uh... There's like a humor and style to all of the Fallout universe that makes it way more appealing moment to moment, even if you are alone the whole time. Well, because I like the references to like old school sci-fi and how like anachronistic it is for everything yeah. else. And the weird tongue in cheek nonsense stuff. And it's like, it's, and then and honestly, like the, even the, the glitches in that music. game make me laugh. Like I've I've had some of the best time with the stupid glitches in Fallout New Vegas. Like there's been some stupid fucking stuff that's happened, and honestly, I think back on it so fondly. It, like, it, it makes me laugh still. I do think Skyrim kind of misses the sense of humor, but only because I really think that that aesthetic is really not... Oh, here's the agriculture. It's just not for me nearly as much. But there's some funny stuff in that game, and I, I, still, I still really do appreciate it. Shinji. And the amount of lore in the, like the all the different gods and stuff, I think is really interesting. I, I don't have the I don't have the time for that, but like there's certain if you want to get hyper fixated on something, that's something to get hyper right, fixated on. Hello. Hey. Well, I don't know what I think about crime. He likes it. Uh, encourage him, because we love him. Hit me. It's in the smiles, love dies. You start breaking smiles, and I bet you'll find the answer. I'm not into smashing faces in. It was a metaphor. Or abstract, or something? Stop being so literal. Break the smiles. <laughs> what, is what does this mean? I don't know. Wait, wait. Was there something at the top of that mountain behind me? Piss people off, knock over statues. Oh wait, that was the like a, uh... It's like an observatorium was, thing. I mean, was that the... Was that where the crime happened? Uh, that might be the judge's chamber. It was at the top of some stairs. KHX's workshop, opulent ziggurat. The religious ceremonies are in the ziggurat. Uh, there isn't necessarily a top of the mountain. No, I just, I was uh, just curious. Location, apparently. Hello. Do we have the ones for this one? Nightmare interface. This computer is attached to the communications tower. If I can crack the code, then I'll be able to use the tower to verify any cell phone data I can find. Well, that's kind of really useful. You want the goat for the first So we're part. only missing Warship. Okay. Oh, we knew that last, but that Star one. Is that Star one? Is, is that Cosmos? I think that might be Warship? Cosmos. Okay. I think we're gonna be fine there. You want the fourth one, and then you want the... What's the other one? Oh, the second one on the bottom. There we go. Then you want all the stars. There's only three, so that's easy. Yeah, it looks like it. And then you want the... The one underneath the last one you did, and then the first one on the second row. And then you want the uh, that one, and then that one. Da 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 da. Glad to be back. That's got it. There's usually an interface at the top of the towers where I can verify cell phone data I found. Did we already confirm that? Oh, it's just yeah. one to go up the ladder. That's I can't even the dishes. ladder's pink. Yeah. Somebody had to paint that ladder. Yeah. Probably when it was on the ground. <laughs> no, they just climbed it and painted it at the same time. <laughs> this tower can help me scan phone records. They had to paint top to bottom so they wouldn't have to go over the paint. Yeah, that would be difficult. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
Well, let's, I mean, we'll do both. Just do one at I like that this game rewards you for not paying attention to your task and wandering around and being like, Oh, look where I am now. I, oh, didn't, I didn't know this time was Time to a, scan some cell phone records. I mean, I didn't know this was a possibility. I know that we took Yuri's phone. And we were like, we're yeah. going to look at this. But whenever, I, whenever I didn't I'm think lost, that anything. I'm, whenever I'm lost, I'm just like, oh, well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll find okay. something else anyway on the way to, to finding what I'm trying to find. It'll pay out. I love noises. Got it. I've got the record. A call was made by Akiko to witness. Witness was in his apartment. Yeah, remember he... But it says Akiko was at the Syndicate HQ. That's weird. She told me she was at the Desolation Cell. Hmm. Doesn't that mean she wasn't where Henry was? Yeah. She lied to me. We've got a we've got something she, to call she, out Akiko for, yeah, which is our favorite person to yeah. second for, second favorite person to call out in I this game. Lady Love dies like, oh, she lied to me. It's like, dude, she fucking hates you. I, I'm not yeah. surprised at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, this. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now the other one. Which one? She fucking hates me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She fucking... That's a puddle of mud. Yeah. There's an unknown number in here. It's not in any syndicate phone records. They sing it this, that one way. They sing every song. Honestly, it's the only song I like from them for that yeah. exact reason. That. It was dialed at midnight last <laughs> night. The call picked up, but ended in in under a second. Those are That's a phone number, huh? Blah, 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 Seems S, like an unnecessary, unnecessary number of letters and numbers. This matches the receiver on the killer demon crate I found in the council penthouse. It looks like witnesses dialed that number at midnight last night. Oh. Oh, that's fucking suspicious. I guess he really was the witness to the end. And, kind of. and contributor. Yeah, he, he straight up dialed the number that opened the thing, unless somebody tricked him into doing it somehow. Like, what's sweet lottery number? Just type this in and see if you're the winner. No, it's like, no, kills so, the council. Some hot girl gave, Whoops, gave him you the murder. phone number, and then he dialed it because he thought it was some hot girl. Yeah. And he opened and that, a demon that, crate. That femme fatale is framing him for murder. And that fe that person is... Goat lady. No, I will. Even if she's the person who did it, I'm not going to accuse her. <laughs> we'll just, I won't we'll let just you. accuse somebody else. Yes. I'm sorry, Shinji. I don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't go after Goat Lady. Did he intentionally open the crate when the council were killed? That It'd seems be, like it. Yeah. Seems really unlikely that it'd be anyone else. This tower can help me scan phone records. Yes, we know. Those are symbols and sounds. I've got the records. It looks like all the calls made to or by Yuri happened at the celebratory gardens. To or by? All the calls from last night are from Yuri to Lydia. All are at the same length. These are him directing her to different syndicate members for pickup. Very business. Yeah, that, that is very official. That seems correct. To or by happened at the same location. What does that mean? Like somebody calls him... But, or but whoever calls. called him was also there? No, but... It, or are they just it, saying it just that he, shows... they're just saying that's where he always was? No, phone records will show who calls you. But the person calling him was at Celebratory Gardens, but also no, every no, time he no, made a call, no, he was no, at Celebratory no, Gardens? No, every time he got a call or made a call, he was at Celebratory, Celebratory Gardens. But the other one told us where Akiko was when it was Witness's phone. I think, I think that's just an inconsistency in the writing of this game. I don't think that that actually means yeah. that there was the other person was also there. Because that would make no sense why they call each other. They're at the same Please place. review the data between 2350 and midnight. There's a gap. The phone went dark for 10 minutes. Why? Unknown. This matches up with what Lydia told me. There's a gap in time where Yuri's phone couldn't be contacted, and no one can account for him. She did say that. I remember her saying that. This tower can help me fans scan phone records. I know, Lady Love dies. You well, told us time that time to talk already. to our three least favorite characters again. Dude, they've I, all got dirt. Dude, I, dude, almost everyone's my least favorite character because they all fucking hate us, except for that one guy that wants, like, who's in love with us, who's a flirt. Who you also don't like? I don't like him for that reason. Also, we we, we only like the couple and Shinji and Goat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I like Lydia. I like uh, her man because he's very cool, Skel skeleton boy. Um, Skeleton boy. And then I love, I love Crimson. She's my favorite. And then Shinji is also uh, very charming. I, nope. I like him quite a lot. Island sequence ten. Tenth island sequence. Humanity's god hunters learn of our secret islands. We hid from them for so long, but now they know. A time for fear. Oh no! <laughs> it's so scary. The god hunters. That's a hell of a name. I also like our, our French our French uh, skeleton faced lady. 
how do you even find out about an alternate world? Are you talking about the lady that talked to us once? Yes, ever? I still I still think of her. She's mysterious and absent still. She's still in 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 my heart yeah. forever. But no, I, I like uh, going to the back to the RPG topic. Like I like companions and I like dialogue and getting to know p characters and so on. So. There's a loneliness to Bethesda games usually that doesn't appeal to me, and I feel like Skyrim's like the loneliness, loneliest of them all. See, I love lonely games. To a games, certain extent. Which is like why, like, uh, Shadow of the Colossus I just don't is want like RPGs one of my favorite that games. Way. Because I like the, I like being alone and, and just dr me and my horse, like, riding across the vast plains for ten minutes at a time with nothing but, like, ambient sound. There's something kind of weird and beautiful about that I just that feel like if my job's going to be to go across the countryside and talk to hundreds of characters and do it all as like... If I'm doing it all as like a mute character that I'm picking dialogue choices for, I prefer to have like a connective tissue of like a party of characters that comes around with me and they're also experiencing it and they have their own reactions because of their personalities and it kind of makes it all feel like it's all happening in one world instead of like a bunch of isolated characters I encounter and then See, each even, time I just dump them in the garbage and then start a new one and it's like it, it, it's arguably not even the same collective experience. Even when I play like Fallout New Vegas, right? Like I will specifically pick uh, not uh, his name's not is Rex. I was gonna say it's not dog meat. It's the other dog with the with the because you want you just want to know you just don't want no and dialogue. E D E, who's the robot? I don't I won't, don't want the people that talk. I want the people that don't talk. I never, you can't judge me for my decisions. I never had Bethesda companions, as far as I can remember, because they decisions. could die, and then maybe not want to take know them with how me. How much stress having a dog with me causes? I had, <laughs> I had to like soft save the game. I would so just many never times. bring them with me. I think it was four when they couldn't die finally, so I brought Nick you can everywhere. Get the, you Nick can get was the great. puppies perk. The puppies perk makes it so after he dies, you can go get another one. Yeah, but that's horrifying. No, I know, I know. <laughs> I, I got the perk. That out makes of... the that makes their death even more canon. Even even in Skyrim, I had a horse and I named her Queen yeah. Helene, and I would not let Queen Helene die. I would restart the game and to like, avoid I haven't, her dying. I haven't played them forever, but couldn't like Fox and other characters die too? Couldn't all of your companions die permanently? You mean in a uh, in in Fallout games? Fox. Fox, F A W K E S. Oh. The super mutant that's like a genius, I think. Island sequence nine. No, okay, yeah, I remember. The oceans boil as an army of demons descends on us. Natasha's silence dies in defense of the Golden Church. There it is. So I it was uh, really close to that. I knew. Yeah, see, I, I was right. Um, no, I would put them in my apartment. I so in like New Vegas, I'd put, I'd like, I'd put them all in my apartment <laughs> at like the uh, the casino where I killed Mr. House because I definitely killed Mr. House, and I took his apartment and I'd put them all there and I'd dress them up in funny outfits. And make them talk to each other, and have to visit them from time to time. And occasionally, I'd pick one or two to go walk with me. But a lot of them eventually became incompatible with me because you need a certain like you need a certain karma or association to like hang out with different characters, mm. which caused me problems in like Fallout Four because I really wanted certain ones that had needed really good karma to be friends with, and Nick, I didn't. I never character. had really good karma, so I'd like get really good karma to, to get them to like me, and then I would like collect them and then abandon them because I could never have them with me again. But, the, but seeing that mod made me think like, wow, I, I, I almost want to play Skyrim just for this, just to hang out with this character. As a person <laughs> who really it. likes dialogue in movies and things, like those games have really great dialogue, which is why four bummed me out so much because they took out the ability to have like meaningful dialogue with a dumb dialogue wheel. And somebody may, even made a mod to like compensate for the, all the dialogue that was not there. They really wrote they their own lines of, of like text for every interaction you encounter. I think that's why I was so bored with Skyrim, because it was like, here's your gray world, and there's not a single likable character you meet for hours at the beginning of the game, and all of the story is like, dude, dragons, bro, and I'm like, dragons are like the most boring fantasy creature ever invented. And the story's like, did you know that you might be the chosen one? Let's do a multi-hour trek up a mountain to maybe find out you're the chosen one. I'm like, that's also, well, you don't and I'm, do like, the, I'm like, I'm also bored with that. You don't do the plot. Like, dude, like, I, but, like, I avoid I need, the plot I need characters. so hard in Wasn't like, there a fucking vending machine in this area? Where the no, fuck no, is it? No, it, it, it's, 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 like, go around. It's right there, right there, right there. Oh, there. I walked, like, every, I walked, I came in here through this and was like, Oh man, where's this vending machine? Let's go, let's do laps. And I just did laps everywhere. I didn't have the perspective to tell you at that point, but when you came in the <laughs> other way, I was like, I know where it is. This machine was broken before. Is this the one the dead nebula told me to look for? Yes. But if I don't, if I don't have a single character I like yet, I won't even want to explore game. 
Visions of Warship Obtained. A knowledge tablet for Starlight. Please manually install from Starlight's inventory. Etched by a pilgrim to the harrowing marble prayer citadels on a planet forgotten by all but the gods. Allow Starlight to process warship glyphs. We have all of them now. Please don't freeze. I don't trust these calls anymore. <laughs> Yo! You got the upgrade. Good work. Told you we'd come through for you. Thanks for the help. No worries. Always get, the, always gotta help the investigator of a mass murder. Don't forget to install it from Starlight's inventory. Don't you think that's a hassle, an unnecessary step? Friction is nice. Makes things more meaningful. <laughs> like how they're like that's criticizing why, the game design. That's why Mara wins the best Elder Scrolls. I guess. We'll let you get back to it. Remember to buy more drinks. What? <laughs> buy more. Drinks! You poor Drink thing. your Ovaltine! <laughs> Apply directly to the forehead! Remember to drink your Ovaltine! <laughs> now we can do every hacking thing. Do you remember where any were that we couldn't do? Because I don't. Okay, the only, the only thing I remember is that freaking pyramid over there. But I don't remember- I don't remember if, if that was the one thing we needed. I just remember I like. Well, we have all four elements, so if, if it was a make pictures thing and we couldn't make pictures, see, we could now make pictures. See, I don't remember if it was a make pictures thing. That's the thing is yeah. they wouldn't even let us do it. And I remember them being like, "You don't have this." I think that was what you needed, actually. And Maybe. I, re I was very, I remember being very excited to go over there and be. I was very disappointed that we didn't have the kind yeah. of thing. And I think that might be <clears> what you needed. No, I think there's a lot to be said though about how like when I play like uh, if I play, if like if I play Kotor, they immediately introduce me to. Uh, Karth, and if I play like Dragon Age, you immediately get Alistair, and then they kind of, I don't know, Ashley, the, Ashley, the... and, Ashley and Caden are not, are not incredible in Mass Effect, what about, but you do um... immediately get a Keith David, which is pretty good. Keith. Oh, Keith it's Keith David from The Thing, and also the, the double-ended dildo scene from, uh, oh, from Run uh, to a Dream? Yeah. Because what other he's, double ended he's, dildo he's, scene is there in a film he, that there, it I It does enjoy. narrow things down. Like, he's, yeah, he's the villain. He's a, or at least a villain in that. Ass to ass. Who, who can forget that? Is this a fact or a truth? I don't like this. Have we been here before? Um. Uh. Ooh. Damn it, I forgot what I was gonna say because I'm just thinking about ass to ass. Yeah. And I can't remember what I was gonna say. <laughs> with, oh uh, no, I was gonna say Star Wars. With Jennifer that, that's... Connolly, I think? Yes. <laughs> Very yes. And Jared Leto. And one of the Wayne's brothers, which was which was interesting, because I didn't expect he's a very serious role for him. Yeah. Um, that's a fantastic movie. I love Darren Aronofsky quite a lot. But anyways, I was gonna say, uh you No, know that Star Wars game that you played with the oh, uh, the companion that was a robot. That wanted to kill people. HK47. Yeah. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, it's a great companion. I was, just yeah. thinking, I was thinking of really Please good companions. Please master. People really like Elizabeth from uh, Bioshock Infinite. No. But I think half the people who say that really just kind of had a crush on her. Because I think everyone, like... If people really had a thing for a, for her for a while. She doesn't... She's not that interesting, but also, like... I don't really like, think she is either. It's also not an RPG companion. I know, but still... Because you don't really make choices. But people really, like, gave her a lot of credit for her. being a fascinating companion for a while. <clears throat> and I was like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that looks like a nightmare hacking spot. Yay! So we can probably get in the pyramid now. I'm excited. No, uh, Bioshock Infinite's a wildly disappointing game for many reasons. Uh, I had interesting world building. Um, and the gameplay wasn't bad. I, the plot got really convoluted. Second one on the bottom got also, really convoluted. It, it also kinda... goes into some exhausting, like every like all all like, all extreme ideologies are equally bad, man. In this alternate dimension, like What's the, the good fucking... guys, the bad guys. Oh, nothing you need a scar in the anything. sky. There's a, the third one and the Whoa. fourth one. Oh, you don't have to make the floor at all. I was trying to figure out how to fill in the whole bottom. Uh. <clears throat> How's it goes? Yeah, this specifically requires you to have all four it's, of them. It's the second one, and then the the fifth one, and then oh, what's that? that what the weird alien baby. I guess it's the new one. Yeah, we're not used what to this one. What the fuck is this? That doesn't look like anything. <laughs> oh, okay, it's, it's it's those two, and then it's uh, this is I, a. I don't see the weird in. circle head though. Oh, 
Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it the first one? No, that's no, the top I mean, left. The, no, the first one on this on the bottom. No, no, no on, on warship. If you go back to warship. I'm just wondering if we can mix things together at all. Uh, I mean, that's a good question, but like, I'm wondering if you have to like make the shape forcibly. <laughs> but I don't. I can't see how you can make that circle. Maybe you do have to do cosmos. It do, um. But none of them are none positioned of them are correctly. The right, correct way. What the fuck? Uh, go back to go. None of those should be right. Um. This doesn't make sense. What the fuck a diddly hey? Just, just a uh, try something. Try the. Yeah, no. It gives you percentages. Yeah, just to clarify, they're getting wronger and wronger. Okay. Yeah, go back to Cosmos or something. What? This is like a sudden, uh, like, do break the in the rules. No, go to. Go. Go back to Goat. Do the do the sixth one. The sixth one. Nope. Huh. Interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Go back Can to Can I scroll this. further yeah. in Go back direction? to Goat. Go back to Goat. Sorry, hold on. Is it Okay, go what about the fifth one from the bottom? Nope. <laughs> it looks it mm, I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. Oh, this is wrong too. This is 40%, then it goes down to 32%. Oh. How is that wrong? Yeah, these are both right. What? Okay. 60%, 80%. Oh, oh, you're doing like a really, oh, dude, you're doing like what? a really abstract version of that. You're doing like a- That made no sense, what the fuck? You're doing like, like a glyphic version of that image. That wasn't even, that didn't even seem close. What's the- Oh, hey there, bud. That breathing sound. This is a god, We're, this is a god right here. We're finally uh, interacting with one. This is the one we see crying. This is the crying one. Crying grudge. We, we, dude, we, we make fountains of you cry all over the place. You're welcome. <laughs> I guess. That's a word you can use. Can you just go behind him? You're an illusion. It's like the Wizard of Oz. And you're all yellow. Oh yeah, it's like we're seeing behind the curtain. That's very strange. All right, well. I feel like it's kind of odd being able to interact with one. I feel like kind of yeah, like it's not as powerful as I thought it was going to be. It's intimidating. Mm. Oh, next episode we'll see how it goes. It could be a very long or very short conversation. <laughs> like get out. Get out. <laughs>